Yeah, welcome to numerical methods. So for the time discretization of stochastic process, we already had a tour now through different schemes. And what I would like to do is I would like to consider a log normal process. This means I would like to have a stochastic process X, actually where the mu has a known additional x here and the sigma depends on time and has also an additional x here. So because then you can divide by the x and you have here a mu dt plus a sigma dw. I allow here in this notation that this still depends on X because there are some models which are like that. Yeah, But if you know, for example, that this guy here is a constant, so if the sigma is now a constant or piecewise constant, yeah, then you can at least reduce the discretization error from the stochastic integral. Maybe we have still a discretization error in the Lebesgue integral part, yeah, but I could fix the discretization er error here. Yeah? The LIBOR market model, the original log normal LIBOR market model being just the black model is of this form. Uh, the black Schultz model is of course of this form yeah, with a constant here. And in my coding example, actually we will consider the case where mu is zero. Yeah? So I will only consider the case uh, where sigma depends on the x, where we have a sigma of tx dw in this tx here. Okay, so consider the stochastic process. dx is mu x dt plus sigma x dw. Then we can apply Ito's lemma, so the trick we already had in the previous session, to move to the logarithm. So I move to log x, I get a um, correction factor, I get a minus one half sigma squared dt correction factor, and the process is d log x is mu minus one half sigma squared dt plus sigma dw. Nice thing is that my process now has a constant coefficient, or say a deterministic coefficient in front of the dw. So discretization via Euler scheme. This is the Euler scheme. Next value is previous value plus freeze the coefficient at the previous value. So now it would be mu ti x tilde ti times x tilde delta ti plus sigma ti x tilde ti times delta w of ti. Milstein scheme, same as Euler scheme, but with the Milstein correction. So the Milstein's correction in this case would be here uh, plus one half sigma squared x. Yeah? So it's sigma of t and x multiplied with sigma prime. Yeah? So one half sigma squared x times delta w squared minus delta t. So this is the Milstein scheme for this stochastic process. A good trick is to not discretize this process with an Euler scheme, but move to the logarithm, create the Euler scheme for the logarithm, and then transform back using the exponential function. So we call this now the Euler scheme for the log process or the log Euler scheme. So I apply here the Euler scheme to the number 14 here for the for the logarithm. So if I apply this Euler scheme there, I get the logarithm at the next point is the logarithm at the previous point plus now mu, but without this additional factor x, minus one half sigma squared delta t, plus sigma, also without this additional factor x, times delta w. Apply the exponential function, left-hand side, right-hand side, 
I get x tilde is x tilde at the previous time multiplied with exponential of all this stuff. Okay, so you see if gets now the mu would be zero. If the sorry, if the mu would be zero, actually you would have deterministic function here, deterministic function here. If the sigma would not depend on time, uh, you would have a constant here, a constant here. Actually, you would then have the exact solution. So this thing is only a numerical scheme because the sigma could depend on time and I fixed the starting point of the sigma and the mu could depend on time and x and I fixed the starting time and the starting point x in, in the mu. So apart from this, this is the exact solution. So you see this would be a very good solution if the mu does not depend too strongly on the x and if the sigma does not depend too strongly on the on the time. Uh, by the way, this is a very important trick, yeah, to not discretize the original stochastic process, but to check uh, for e with Ito's lemma for a variable transformation where the stochastic process has almost constant coefficients. Yeah, um, so this this gives then a very very good good numerical scheme. Well, assume the mu does not depend on, on x. Yeah? The mu could depend on time. Then the only error is that I freeze here the coefficient at the starting time. But look behind my, my numerical scheme is the integration. And maybe you know the integral of mu of t analytically, or the same for the sigma. Maybe you know the integral of sigma of t analytically. So if you if you know the analytic integral uh, for mu of t and sigma squared of t, you can actually define these averaged values, mu i, which is one divided by the time step size, integrate the mu, and sigma i, which is the square root of one divided by delta ti integrate sigma squared. So there's the Ito isometry a little bit behind this. Yeah? And if you have these, yeah, you can define a numerical scheme with these constants that actually are the solutions to the integral that is actually exact. Yeah? So you see there's no tilde here over the x. So x at ti plus one is x at ti multiplied with exponential mu minus one half sigma i squared, mu i minus one half sigma i squared delta ti plus this sigma i, yeah? so this averaged integral over the sigma squared, square root, multiplied with the delta w. And from that, all the exponential, yeah? because we move to the logarithm, yeah? then we have deterministic coefficient, and then we integrated the deterministic coefficient analytically. So this is the exact discretization in this special case of a log normal process, yeah, where the mu and the sigma only depend on time, and you can integrate them analytically. But you see already from this here um, that the exponential scheme, so this here is very close to the true solution. So to conclude, I have a numerical experiment. You find this numerical experiment here, Monte Carlo scheme test. Actually, this is in the repository FinMat experiments, which you have to check out. It's not in our uh, lecture repository. It does an Euler scheme, a Milstein scheme, and a log Euler scheme for the stochastic process. Dx is sigma x dw. Okay, very simple stochastic process, but it now does this uh, scheme. Yeah, log Euler scheme is discretize the logarithm, um, uh, move to the logarithm, and create the Euler scheme for the uh, logarithm. I let this run and just discuss with you the results. So this is here. 
Um, yeah, let's have a very quick look to the code. Well, I know the expectation of X at a later point in time and the variance of X. I know all this analytically because I know that the random variables generated by this stochastic process are log normal distributed. Yeah, The logarithm is normal distributed with mean minus one half sigma T uh, and standard deviation square root of T. I know the expectation and the uh, variance analytically. So I can check the accuracy of the numerical scheme. So I do these uh, checks here in um, uh, where I calculate the expectation and the variance. Yeah, I do these checks here and I have a log Euler scheme. So uh, there's a little bit of code, but I just need to show you a single line. So this is here. So this, you see, drift is mu dt, delta t. Diffusion is sigma delta w. And the Euler scheme is new value is previous value plus x times mu delta t plus x times sigma delta w. Classical Euler scheme. Milstein scheme is now the same line, yeah? New value is previous value plus x times mu delta t plus x times diffusion, so x times sigma delta w. This is the Euler step plus the Milstein's correction, plus one half x sigma squared delta w squared minus delta t, the Milstein's correction, Milstein's scheme. Log Euler scheme, next value is previous value multiplied with the exponential of mu delta t minus one half sigma squared delta t plus sigma dw. So I have these three schemes, Euler, Milstein, Log Euler, and I'm testing these in this class here. In this class now also prints the errors for the different schemes. And what I do is I have a Monte Carlo simulation with 100,000 sample paths, and I use finer and finer time steps. Okay, finer and finer time steps. So now I'm interested in conversion in the time in the refinement of the time step size. So how accurate is the numerical scheme if the number of time steps becomes larger? So since I'm always stepping to the same end time, capital T, this means the time steps becomes finer. Okay, so you see it takes longer and longer because I have more and more time steps to simulate. And here in the script, you see the results. So the first thing is that the Euler scheme will generate not a number for the expectation and the variance of the logarithm here. So the reason is x is negative. x tilde of t is less than zero. So the logarithm of x tilde of t is not a number. So this scheme has generated negative values. And you see that this goes away if you make the time steps smaller. Because then we have smaller increments in the delta w. And since the process is dx is sigma x dw, this means if the process comes closer to zero, the increment is automatically scaled down. So doing more time steps keeps you away from zero and the scheme becomes more accurate. Also note that the Milstein scheme has the same problem, but after just 10 time steps, the, the problem has gone away. So the Milstein's correction is correcting, reducing the probability that we will fall below. Note that we see convergence. Yeah? So this here is the error that you have in the expectation of the logarithm. 
And this is the error that you have in the variance of the logarithm, and we have convergence. What kind of convergence do we, we have? Okay, if we have um, 100 points, we have 100 points. Okay, this here is approximately a five. Huh? If we have uh, 200 points, this is approximately a 2.5. If we have 400 points, this is a 1.25. Uh, so doubling the number of time steps is halving the error. This looks like order one divided by n. The Wilstein scheme is very quickly very good. I see no convergence. And the log Euler scheme is very good from the beginning. Actually, the log Euler scheme is the exact solution. But if this is the exact solution, why do we still see an error? Okay, so you know the answer. This is a Monte Carlo simulation. There's still a Monte Carlo error. But my numerical scheme actually does not contribute to the error. Yeah, you see there are very, very good approximations of the expectations, even with very few, very few time steps. So that was our first session on time discretization schemes. And next session, we'll discuss the convergence rate. That was it for today. Thanks.